Do, 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 do. Hello and welcome to the 12 o'clock news show, bringing you the need to know news. Today's top stories. A plague shakes the Americas, the European Union shatters, and China becomes the dominant world power. But instead of talking about these topics, we're going to talk about cells. In a recent survey, 90% of Americans don't know a lot about cells. To confirm this, we'll go to our on the street reporter, Sam Markle. Sam? Sam, on the street. Thanks, Chris. We're here on the streets of Ann Arbor, interviewing people to see what they actually know about cells. Let's get this guy. Let's get... Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure. What do you know... Do you know what an organelle is? Um, no, what is it? An organelle is a miniature cell organ contained in the plasma membrane. I heard of that. Um, plasma membrane... It's in animal cells, the most outer layer, and it's also in plant cells, but it's not the most outer layer there, because they have cell walls. Yes, that's very true. All right, thank you for your time. Oh. Well, that guy knew a little bit about cells. Let's see about the next guy. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? Can I ask you a few questions? Sure. Do you, what do you know about the nucleus? Uh, isn't that a type of bomb? Actually, no. The nucleus is the part of the cell that contains the, mito the DNA. It's like a factory. Why are you dressed like that? Anyway? Makes me look cooler. No. No, no, no. It it's a dog! No. Ah! <laughs> well, well, we can all agree that that experience was very strange. But... We have one more interview to show you. As you can see, different people know different amounts about cells. Let's see what this guy knows about cells. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. Well, do you know what a mitochondria is? Uh, yes, I do. They sell it a respirate for the cell. Yes, and they produce 28 AP ATP energy. No, 38 ATP energy. Well... Yeah, well, you know, actually, you're right, and, but you, I bet you don't know what a centriole is. A centriole helps uh, the cells divide, sort of like a math teacher, teaching little third graders. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, well, I bet you don't know what the cytoplasm is. The cytoplasm is the liquid-like filling that surround, that holds the organelles, sort of like fruit inside yellow. Yes, this, this is like ninth grader stuff you're telling me. I, I am an adult. Well, I bet you don't know who first found cells. His name was Robert Hooke, and he was a great scientist. Yep. Well, you know what? I don't appreciate you taking my spotlight. It's not very nice. Back to you, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Now it's time for Chris's Corner, featuring your favorite incredibly handsome host, Chris Oye. Chris's Corner. Hello and welcome to Chris's Corner. Today in Chris's Corner, we'll be focusing on cell functions. Our first concept is diffusion. Diffusion is defined as the net movement of particles of substances from where they are more concentrated to where they are less concentrated. Osmosis is diffusion of water. For example, if a cell has a lower concentration of water and the area around it has a higher concentration, Water will move into the cell, past the membrane, into the cell until the co concentrations are equal. It will also work in the other direction. The solution with the lower concentration is called hypotonic. The solution with the higher concentration is called hypertonic. When the two solutions are equal, it's called isotonic. Sometimes larger molecules, such as starch molecules, are too big to fit through the membrane. So they have to use transport proteins in order to enter the cell. This is called facilitated diffusion. When water diffuses through a membrane, it is considered passive transport because it does not require energy. Facilitated diffusion is considered passive transport because it doesn't use energy. Sometimes a cell expends energy to move mo molecules across a membrane. This usually happens when a transport protein transports something the opposite way from diffusion. This requires energy and is called active transport. Sometimes molecules are way too big to cross the membrane, 
so they have to use vesicles. Vesicles are a small membrane sac that specialize in moving products into, out of, and within the cells. When contents leave the cells through vesicles, it is called exocytosis. When they go into the cells, it is called endocytosis. That's it for Christmas Corner. I hope you learned something today. Now, we'll have a special guest, Dr. Wojniak, an expert in cells. Now, let's talk to the multi-talented Dr. Wojniak from the Dr. Wojniak College of Everything. He's agreed to give us this special interview. You may remember him from the smash hit, Lakshmi, the movie. Thanks, Dr. Wojniak. Uh, hello, Sam. How are you today? I'm very good. How are you? I'm good. Well, I have this lecture from from uh, my home country. We are very we are very into cells. So first, I will talk about chloroplasts and plants. They keep the plants green in color, and they photosynthesize to create food. And other organelles in these cells include endoglistic reptilium, which is a network of membranes that produce a variety of molecules. The Golgi apparatus, which is like like a store manager, it manages uh, where the cell products should go and what they should do with them. And there are also plastids, which are only found in plant cells. There are also there are also parts to a cell such as leucoplasts, which are reservoirs of lipids, and chromoplasts, which are used for pigmentation synthesis. Ribosome, which constructs cell the cells, and proximos, which catalyze the breakdown and the making of hydrogen peroxide. There are two sac like two sac like organelles in the cell, including lysosomes and which contain digestive enzymes. There are also vacuoles, which are basically storage sacs for nutrients and waste. There are also thread like structures in the cells, the chromos chromosome and the cytoskeleton. The chromosome is formed when a cell is going to divide and the cytoskeleton extends from the cytoplasm with a network of fibers. Last but not least is the nucleolus, located inside of the nucleus. It is a ball-like mass of fibers and granules. Thank you very much for this very interesting presentation on cells. Your time is very valuable and I thank yes, you I know. for spending it with us. Um, hope to see you again very soon. Of course, Sam. Of course. Alright. Back to you. Thanks for watching this news broadcast. Until next time, from all of us at the Channel 391 News Team, good night. Do, 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 do,